Hey there, Mavs, and welcome to this week's episode of Mavs TV. My name is LeVar. And my name is Jose. Hey, LeVar, thanks about telling me f uh, about Cram. My laptop was acting up a bit, but they seemed to fix it pretty quickly. Yeah, sure, no problem. And to be honest, that was kind of the first time I've been there. I didn't really even know what they did in that class. Well, if you're interested in computer networking and, com and computer repair and maintenance, are the classes for you. RAM is computer repair maintenance and it is where we run the help desk by the library and we will take student computers, swap them out with spares, and then we will fix their laptops and then complete the ticket and then send it back to them. So CRAM is the specifically the IT and repair side of it and it is the physical repair of the devices and networking is like uh, routers and the internet and making sure all of those devices are connected together. It doesn't require anything for you to get into CRAM. CRAM is the first year class and then you can take networking afterwards and there's nothing that is needed for it. You just sign up with a normal class that's on the schedule. So. In CRAM basically all we do is we learn about how to fix computers like say a student breaks like their screen or whatever. He'll come to the window and we just take the computer and we'll repair it. The teacher also uh, Ms. Bennett, she gives us lectures about different like computer components and how to fix them, how they work, and all the different aspects of computers and how we're advancing our technology. So essentially we take um, laptops that have been damaged or um, they have malfunctioning parts, they bring them to us and we will um, carefully replace or um, repair any of the uh, parts that may have been damaged. Every day we are required to repair at least one student Chromebook during our two period lab period. Cram and networking both offer a pretty good amount of college credit. You can also be industry certified. We try to make it so that everyone can feel like welcome and be able to get their problems solved on their computers and so that we can fix them quickly and get them back to them. Have you been to any girls basketball games this season? You know I really hadn't had a chance to yet uh, but I heard you went to one of their home games last week. Yes, I did. Lane and I went to interview some people about the girls' basketball game. Tuesday night we went to the Lady Mass basketball game against Central Catholic. They won a hard fought battle 49 to 48. Let's go see the post game interview with Coach Kanoy. We're here with Coach Kanoy, post game after the girls basketball game. Coach, what was one of the main points to go out and win the game tonight? Well, we told our kids for the game we cannot play them tonight. But last year we played them and this summer we played CCK out of of us. And tonight that did not happen. Our kids would not allow ourselves to get out of and I thought in the third quarter we did a little bit, but then in the fourth quarter when the game was online, we stepped up and kids didn't get out hustled. What was something that helped the team as a whole? Senior leadership. Senior leadership. Uh, Matty Rose, Trinity, Wynn. Uh, Man, I really should go see them play. I kind of like basketball. If you're going to be indoors for the um, basketball game, at least you wouldn't have to battle the cold air. Yeah, I, I can't really handle the cold, but I still really like winter. Let's go talk to weatherman Dan and see what the forecast is for this week and looking like. Good evening, Mavericks. Today is December 7th, and that means 18 days till Christmas. Now, it's going to be chilly up until then, so I'm going to give you the weather for the next week. Now, because Indiana has no weather patterns whatsoever, I'm going to be rolling some dice to determine next week's weather. Now, this is our table, and this is our die. Let's roll and see what the upcoming week has in store. Well, you know what that looks like to me, Mavericks. It looks like Sunday and Saturday are going to have uh, somewhere between the 29 and 22 temperature range, and uh, maybe a little cloudy, hardly sunny. Let's roll again. All right. It looks like uh, for Monday we got a one, so it's going to be sunny with a high of 34. Um, now, for Tuesday, it's very special to me, so we won't be rolling this dice. I'm going to be contacting my boss. 
Hey, boss? Yeah, hello? Can you give me a number between 1 and 10? Oh, that's very good, boss. That means that Tuesday is going to have a uh, temperature between uh, 36, 25, and that it's going to be very sunny, boss. That's prediction. <laughs> Hit or miss. Hey, so I'm a little bit lost. Do you guys know how to get to the Lincoln Tunnel from here? Um, I think it's over there. It's over there. Oh yeah, it's that way. Thanks guys, I'm looking for my dad. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. Anyways, attention maths. Sophomores and juniors got to hear about the 2019 to 2020 school year CTE multiple period courses offering on Wednesday, November 14th. We have some exciting programs here at McCutcheon High School, including the early childhood education, computer tech service, out of motor ser service, and the senior only work program. There will also be the new Greater Lafayette Career Academy that will open in fall 2019. MHS students will have the opportunity to be the first ones in the building. Students interested in those programs will need to fill out a paper enrollment from availability in the student service office that needs to be turned in today. Check your email from Mrs. Kendall for information about which programs are available, available both at the GLCA and other locations see Ms. Kendall's or ask your counselor for questions. And as we're heading to the end of our newscast, we'd like to promote the new yearbook class that will be starting next semester and taught by Mr. Quintero. If you have any interest about any aspect of producing the yearbook, please talk to your counselor and Mr. Welchins today. that we're going to be having during 7th and 8th hour um, next semester is going to be a multimedia and yearbook class kind, of, class kind of mush together. So it's going to have the overall outcome of what a yearbook would typically look like, uh, but it will go a little more electronic in its path of creation. Throughout the semester, everyone will have individualized jobs um, that will take place, and some jobs will get overlapped with other jobs. We'll have some jobs where people are in charge of uh, writing stories about different things that happen throughout the year. Some people will be in charge of um, just the computer work itself, making sure the pictures are matched up with people and uh, the different clubs are, are having um, different representation. And so just making sure that everything comes together for the uh, electronic yearbook so that people will have the option of putting together in a binding. Wow, this is the last newscast of 2018, isn't it? Kind of makes me almost want to cry. I know, this mess has gone by so fast, I can't believe it's almost over. Yeah, but everyone at MAP2E would like to say thank you to our student teacher, Mr. McFadden, for helping us all produce our show and for being a great student teacher. Goodbye, Mr. McFadden, and goodbye, Cam and Pam Fort. We'll miss you guys. Thanks for watching. Wait, what? You, you forgot an entire line of your part. Oh, yeah, I did? You forgot, like, two sentences. <laughs> no, bro, I just want to say goodbye. No, yeah, I just no. say Wow, isn't this our last newscast of 2018? I know this mess has gone by so fast, I can't believe it's almost over. Yeah, but everyone at MAPT would like to say thank you to our student teacher, Mr. McFadden, for helping us all produce the show, for being a great student teacher. Goodbye, Mr. McFadden, and goodbye, Cam and Peyton Ford, who, who are the two of the students in this class who will now be turned to McCutcheon next semester. We will miss you guys. Yeah, but have a wonderful Christmas. Christmas? Have a wonderful Christmas. <laughs> Okay. Goodbye! <laughs> hey.